<laughs> what? Oh, you gotta see, yeah. I can. So, so any glow fans here? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yay. 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 Do it. So, oh. Knock yeah. knock. So I wanted to ask. Who's not here? Yeah. Oh. Well, I don't care about anybody else. I'm here to ask. Yay. I'm That's right. right. I wanted to know. Guys, get to come up with their own characters, or did they help you with your character? Uh, no, mine was chosen. Oh, so it is chosen. I yeah, was, it was chosen. chosen. Okay. Yeah, and, and and we we go through a rigorous training, like military training. There we go. Awesome. We don't. It's up to you. Oh, like, oh this is. Hi, we're like right here. <laughs> I love it because I'm used to working on the mic. If you know Sunny, I'm always on the microphone. And I'm used to talking loud. Yeah. This one is, yeah. But it just makes me, you know, like. Feel professional. Yeah, I guess. I keep telling myself I'm professional and they tell me no. But we can share a mic then. No, you can use, I'll let you borrow this one. But let me finish what I want to say. That's how we are. We're good girls together. Oh. But I'm cloudy now because I'm a brunette. We like each other. No. It's my best friend. Yes. Aww. Really? Oh! Snap! Oh, man. Now the funny thing is, though, is I wanted to be a bad girl. Oh, see, I wanted to be a bad girl. Okay, so I wanted to be a bad girl. I love that you say that. My audition, I was dressed in black leather and boots and red in my hair, and I'm going to go be a bad girl. So I guess what the director did, he saw Sunny as Sunny was, and saw me as Roxy Astor from Park Avenue, New York, and I'm like, from Auburn, Washington. I'm like, okay, that's a hard one to pull off, but he saw something in us to, Absolutely. Yeah. that was our character. So, to me, I, I felt like I was um, kind of over the top and uh, kind of drag queenish in a way. Yeah. I like it. And Sunny yeah. was Sunny. She that was the 80s sunny. glam. I represented the fun and sun in California, and I'm a native. Like I'm a true native of California. Let's hear it for California. Yes! Yeah. Woo! -hoo. Let's and hear it for New York. Oh, boo. Boo. Okay, I'm not from there. Okay. No, no, but she's the best that came out of there. I'll say that. Um, uh, for me, I think Matt uh, molded me from like the character Jane Mansfield. Yeah. So, because he was married to Jane. Um, and I was the fun, blonde, dingy, you know, kind of character, which exactly I'm really... Exactly the same, exactly the same. No, <laughs> with the cloudy thrown in. Um, but yeah, I think the, the whole test was the military training that we had to go through, which is six weeks. And a lot of girls dropped off. I think we had like 86 girls, and there was 36 of us remaining. Okay, were you excited when they were dropping off? Oh, I was. Oh, and yeah. I was excited when I did one military push-up, and I could keep doing the military push-ups. And remember the hyper extensions on the wrestling ring? I don't remember that. I don't remember Wow, that. and I'm the one with the eight concussions. I'm usually the forgetful one. And the girls, the girls sit on the back of our leg, and we had to do the hypers off the side of the ring. Dude, that's Ooh, so good. Yes, you should remember that. It was grueling. I oh my god. I remember that. I just remember Matt telling us that you got to get in shape because 20 years later when you see yourself on TV, you're going to have regrets. Oh yeah. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to run. Two yeah. Two How do you feel now looking back? Like, awesome. Yeah, you just <laughs> Awesome. I mean, I wanted to ask with the show on Netflix coming out, how did you guys feel about coming that? Coming out, it's good. Well, no, but I'm saying when it came Third out, season. Yeah. yeah. How did you feel when you heard? Okay, when it, okay. I, I have to say, when it first came out, it, it was kind of one of those things like, because I, I was working on something, they go, oh, congratulations, Roxy. And I'm like, this is not mine. And we're getting ready to go on our very first cruise, which is the Afterglow Cruise. Oh, okay. Yeah, where we, where where we bring our fans and we party with the fans, the afterglowcruise.com, and we put on uh, afterglow events, which are with the original glow girls. So we wake up with us and, you know, you're going to eat with us, we knock on your door, we drink, you out of bed. Oh, yeah, it's really good. Yeah, we make you do military. Sounds amazing. Do I have to do military push ups? Yeah. Up against the boat. Oh, it's in the water, sorry. I'm like, oh, my I wanted to see your face. Yeah, I was like, hold on, wait, where? Right, right, right. Here in California, yes, there see, I should have been a bad girl. Join us. I yes. was going to ask you. Oh, but she's she's got the biggest it's heart for a bad girl. so much fun to be the heel. I'm a good girl. I'm a good girl. Shh. For a bad girl. Yeah. 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 yeah, I think it'd be so much fun to be the heel, be the bad person. No, I had fun being a good yeah. bad girl. Yeah. <laughs> now, I, I have to say one thing, and I'm going to give you the mic. 
Um, I wrote this match for, it was with the character Dementia, who never spoke through um, her matches ever. It was just the eyes and the doll and, and the axe. So I finally got my way of being a bad girl was by having Big Bad Mama throw her voodoo dust on us and we switch characters. So I got to play, okay, but I didn't really get to play a good bad character because Dementia didn't speak. So I had to sit there, she knows. <laughs> and plop down and kind of like play with the doll. I'm like, well, this really sucks. And Dementia ended up playing Roxy better than I did. So she had on my shoulder pads and she was just like this on the turnbuckle. And I'm like, okay, end up being my favorite match. My That's favorite awesome. match. Yeah, that was really good. And, and probably the same for me. I think when Big Bad Mom, I had my Barbie doll and I had oh, to stand. Great. Oh my God, and I had to flip. She took my doll and she completely flipped it. And I'm five foot 10. So, and my legs, by the way, I had to do, just like this wall, God, it brings back memories. Matt would make me go up against that wall and do push-ups until I got it right in front of all the girls. It was, I yeah. I had to do it. Yeah, because my legs would dangle, and so would Hollywood's. Gina Bassone, so we had that similarity, her and I. Unfortunately, she had to do the same thing once in a while, but me more so. And it was so embarrassing, I got it right. But in the ring, when, it, when she flipped my doll, I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna die. I gotta flip right now, just from standing. And most people can't do that. When you're standing like this and you just gotta flip. And I'm like, I'm gonna die. But somehow, I did it. And it was good, I didn't die. Um, it was a pleasure to work with uh, Mountain Fiji alongside. And, you know, as he was mentioning, she did pass away a couple years ago in January. So rest in peace, uh, Mountain Fiji, Big Bad Mama that we're speaking of. We lost Big Bad Mama, Tara. We would lost, I'd say, about six glow girls. Um, and currently, if I could say Mat yeah, so Matilda. In the Matilda the Hun is fighting. Every day now she's been in there for a couple months, so. No, about five months, and yeah. we're trying to help her get it together. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. she's Matilda the Hun, space yeah. balls, the bearded lady, yeah. love in an elevator. She is like the queen. <laughs> yeah. The queen. Yeah. And so she's great. And we love all our Glow sisters, but you know there is a separation after Glow and Glow. And we are after Glow. Because technically it is after Glow, right? We don't like all of our sisters. Our no. Sisters. No. I was going to ask, you guys all oh, seem so close man. still. No. Yeah, we're all girls, so... I love her. I love her. Yeah. And we didn't actually speak in Glow. I hated her. Everyone hated me because guess what? Uh, well, who did I remind Matt of? Yeah. Who, so I, who was she dating? I was dating the director, <laughs> so that's why I had it extra hard, yeah. because he was expecting me to do things right, and um, of course I always lost. Yeah. Um, I was disqualified a few times, but I did lose. Who was she dating? <laughs> the director. <laughs> yeah, I know, gosh. But, um, you know, any questions from, anyway, he's got a question about the cruise rocks. We gotta get him on board. Do we have a twerking contest? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. We, okay. And I, I want to just say this is the fourth annual yes. Afterglow Cruise. The first one, I have to say, it was it was on Carnival Cruise. It was only four days, and it was, it was like a test. And it was like, a, you know how you have a first date? And it was like, we're meeting the fans because we see them on Facebook and they're meeting us and we're like screaming like, oh my, we were just like thrilled to see them. Like we were fans of theirs, they're fans of ours. Yeah. So it was so surreal that I'm like, I think I have to do this again. So I started off with the Afterglow uh, fan party uh, about five years ago and that's when her and I became really good friends. Did a Kickstarter with $5,000, raised it, and I said, if I raise it, and I always say this, we had seven million fans, I think I'm gonna get a dollar from every fan, I'm gonna get seven million bucks. No, <laughs> I uh, made it over the five grand, and we did our first Afterglow fan party. We had Matilda the Hun there, Mondo Guerrero, our glow trainer, um, and uh, we had uh, Godiva, we had like 10 girls there, right? TV and it was great. I saw in that audience that we have something here. So it just happened we were at the first RuPaul Dracon and we ran into a cruise planner so that's where we did our first. Second one we did a Norwegian cruise. What was our second one? We went to New Orleans. And I'm telling you guys 
when the glow girls go on and party with the fans it's fun. we are with you we are not hiding in our rooms I, i'm telling you i'll be knocking on your door and but we have we have events but we have events we have uh, glow events and I, I always have something fun planned we had a pie eating contest and then i Throw in a little something extra, like uh, you got to be blindfolded or you got to be fed by Beastie the Road Warrior. And you, so, get, yes. and you get and you get great prizes, might I add. But you know, above all, you get to see us. And at the end of the the cruise, we're family. You guys now become family because you get to know us. Okay, but this year we have a special prize. I'm giving away Sunny. Um, she oh. doesn't. <laughs> oh wow! Thank That's you, sweet. thank you. I'm trying to. I, I thought I got to top the last cruise, so I think I'm going to give. Her away uh, oh I didn't tell you no okay <laughs> so the, the, the <laughs> yes uh, yes if, it'll if you get more entries you get more of a chance to win. To, to win Sunny and take her home yeah. yes <laughs> yes if you enter more you get more of a chance right right so that would be false advertising so no you don't get Sunny but uh, <laughs> but you get to dance and party with us and, and yeah. hang out with us and uh, so what it is it's uh, April's 12th we're actually we're going out Norwegian has their first ship going out of Los Angeles they've never been in Los Angeles so we're able to grab more girls and we are going to the Mexican Riviera on the Norwegian Joy free drink package four night fine dining I'm gonna pick a special date for fine dining and she probably will too and then we do our afterglow events with the fans so you go to www.theafterglowcruise.com and you can see pictures from our past cruises oh, yeah, and and as you probably can tell I'm a little off but in a good way oh, no. I will make sure you 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 guys will it'll change your life yeah. I'm a little worried you're going to drink me under the table. I'm of. Hey, there's a Starbucks. I'll drink you under the table with Starbucks. That's what I'm talking about. And that's what sold me is that there was a Starbucks right, there. Right, never mind. I'm in. And, uh, now but, I, but I like those drinks, so it's a challenge. Uh, but, but I had a funny story. It's like I didn't win the Glow Crown, and we had Ivory, Tina Ferrari, on one of our cruises. And um, I, I got a little wasted the, cup, the last night because I could relax. Our events were over, and I'm like, give me that crown. <laughs> so I, I took the crown and I think the video somewhere and Gremlin is biting Ashley's ankles and I'm like I just want that crown <laughs> it's a lot of fun guys so look it up I recommend each and every one of you it's getting uh, kind of sold out but we still have some spots oh we have Mary Kennedy oh my god Mary Kennedy will be on board oh no way Matt. yes we're yeah. open mic with the glow fans and you guys will yes. be opening up for Mary Kennedy from Shameless wow. and you never know what celebrities are going to pop yeah, just saying just yeah. saying yeah. like so much yeah. fun yeah we had Todd Bridges at our last yes. party yeah. yeah that's we've only been talking for 10 minutes and I'm already <laughs> like super uh, excited about yeah it. so look it up and uh, come join us and there's um I don't know how many yeah, glow I, girls I got room on but it's okay we're the only two glow girls that matter right <laughs> I'm kidding. Just the belt. I'm kidding. Oh, oh boy. Belt come with you? Oh no, I I don't bring my no. It doesn't go on there. Oh okay. It stays on on my mantle at home. Oh. But I do. I know. I put it underneath my pajamas. Don't tell anybody. But um. I travel with it to events and things, okay, but nice. yeah, on the ship, no. It's just too much hassle to bring it on and through the, yeah. Yeah, remember, it's all the didn't have a belt, we had a know. crown. So that's yeah, so that's, special. yeah. That's why I was surprised to see it. I was like, ooh. Well, so this is because I worked tirelessly for seven months um, at the CAC to get all the Glow Girls honored. I tried to get each and every one honored. Um, we broke the glass ceiling there as the first wrestling Glow Group. At the, yeah, so we're actually honored there, inducted into the CAC. So, um, and trust me, that wasn't easy. Yeah, exactly. This is the first. We won our award after 35 years. Yeah. Well, now it's, it's 33 years. No, shut up. 35. 33. Yeah, we're funny. I know. <laughs> Okay. Oh, you're fine. So, so Brian Blair, the Killer Bees, who is the president, the vice president, um, uh, Carl R., which is, he's now stepped down, but uh, they awarded me the belt. 
long story short, yes. and uh, Chaz Moretti made the belt. And uh, I there we go. I have a special award for doing the afterglow. And I do the afterglow for the fans. I'm telling you, the afterglow is fan driven. Yes, so very. No. Do I regret it? No. I have so much fun with the fans. See, that's so much fun. I, yeah. I, I'm telling you, you're going to be my friend. I'm excited. I, I, I think he already is. is. Yeah, I was hoping we were already friends, but if I have to do more, that's not <laughs> I'm going to work for this friendship. I like, I like, what is it, Harley Heroes? Yeah. I like that. Yeah, so I like the shirts. We're a podcast. Uh, we're dedicated to movies, TV, and everything geek related. But we have questions that we like to ask all of the guests. And uh, you guys seem like a very lively bunch. So our favorite question to ask, because I know we're running yeah, short ready out of time. time. And they're yeah. probably not even our fans. <laughs> yeah. They will be before we leave. Wait a minute. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. They look like they like wrestling. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Oh, we're wrestling. Oh, we're Woo! Oh, we're yeah. Yes. Woo! And not the Netflix club. We are the originals. The OGs. Right here. Are we the rap for you? Oh, yeah. Let's do our rap. Okay. You want to? Yeah. We're the gorgeous ladies of wrestling. We're all champions in the ring we come from the streets we come from the city we come from the world where there is no pity slam bam it's a wrestling jam come on ladies give us a hand it's a big bad battle in the ring we're gonna have fun and do our own thing Woo! and that's for you new people. that's right they have no idea who we are but they might they're acting like they know glow right you know glow gorgeous ladies of wrestling if not, you guys should always raise up women's empowerment. You guys can do and be anything you choose to be. And always remember that. Okay, what's the question? Okay, go ahead. Sorry. So, yeah, one question. One question. Okay. So, this one always gets the funnest response. So, if there was a zombie apocalypse, oh. what would be your weapon of choice? Twinkies. I like that. Okay. I like Twinkies. Yeah. Oh, my God. I don't know. You so, know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. yeah. I would have to say Snickers. You know why? I gave Snickers, yeah. Snickers is my thing. I gave a donkey a Snickers and the part, the tongue got stuck. Did you know it can kill a donkey? I did not okay, know that. Yeah. Yeah. What would be yeah. yours? My yeah. zombie apocalypse weapon, it was actually four-arm machetes. But Ooh. A Twinkie sounds way better. Nice. Twinkies have a shelf life of, like, forever. <laughs> <laughs> they might get a little stale and you got to dip it in coffee. Because <laughs> uh, Beverly Washburn, yeah. she uh, was in Old, uh, Old Yeller and she was in yes. Star Trek, the original show. Yeah. I asked her the same question and she was just like, an ice cream scoop? And I was like, why that? She's like, because I would just give everybody ice cream. Exactly. And, everybody would be happy. and I was dying. And they wouldn't want to eat you. So cute. Yeah. And yeah. so the Twinkies and the Snickers Twinkies. were great. Yeah. I like it. Thank but by the way, the donkey didn't die. They had to, it was terrible. We were in a car. I'm not kidding, it's a true story. The doctors had to go, the, the veterinarian, and save the donkey. I was like, oh my God, all I did was give him a little. I didn't know. But the, the, it gets stuck on their tongue. The Snickers, you didn't hear me? Oh my God, okay. Right. Yes. Yes, no, it's a true story. We were on the sidebar. Cheeto! See. How are you? <laughs> See, look, I love your fans coming out. I All love this. This is awesome. This is where you get seven days when you go on the I know, yeah. I'm sad. And you should hear us in the car on the way back. <laughs> Never uh, there, girl. Oh, no. <laughs> Where's the Altoids? Yeah. No. <laughs> well, that's all the time we got. Thank you guys oh, for worry. rushing in. Okay. I know. I was very sad. I can't throw her in the table? I thought I'd won though. She's a good girl. I'm a good girl. We can't yeah, do that. I mean, that would be darn. so much fun. Okay. Darn. Thank you. Thank you. Guys. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Enjoy your next one, guys. Thank you. Awesome. Stop. I'm ready to get there. Take that. Dude, that was awesome. Oh, okay. Thank you. Now sell it. That was a lady? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Bye guys. Bye.